All right, here we are in a little 84 uh, Toyota Land Cruiser FJ60. Got all the lights going for a run-in video. We got her warmed up here. Got a little bit of a downhill incline here, so you can see uh, obviously e-brake works. Otherwise, she'd be getting away from us. It's running all nice and smooth. No smoking issues or anything. Got the temp gauge up, all the gauges work except for the tack doesn't work. Um, but odometer, speedometer, all that stuff works. And these trucks do take a little bit to get the uh, temp up, so when you first drive them, it takes a little while for that to show up. So e brake goes off. This doesn't have a whole lot of electrics, so that part will be simple. Uh, we'll do a little bit of city driving, and then uh, hopefully, with traffic allows, see all the windows go up and down real nice. But we'll get cranking here and hopefully if the traffic allows we'll uh, get on the freeway and do some freeway speeds it's an easy truck to drive you know we got a little bit of an incline here all the tires are good they don't have dry rods or cracks or anything um, but they're a little older so you know the kind of ride like older tires do just a little bit bouncy but they're relatively pretty quiet and pretty smooth um, you can tell by my voice my hand that it's not crazy shaky or nothing but if you put a nice set of new meats on this thing it'll definitely you know bring it around you want know, third gear right now it's just a manual transmission four speed so you kind of do your you know third gear for cruising around town doing 35 miles an hour so uh, on the way here I drove by a little speedometer check thing it tells you how fast you're going and the speedometer's right on so that part's good you see all the little bumps in the road and the patches and stuff it, it's really solid, squeak-free drive. You know, I mean, rattle-free drive. The uh, rear hatch does squeak once in a while, um, but that's about the extent of it. Your doors don't rattle. There's no uh, door hinge issues or latches or plastic panels have been messed with. Uh, it's just got your basic, just a, like a real simple basic CD player. Um, the face plate's back at the shop. And you know, it's got the manual transfer case, the manual hubs and stuff. But you know, there's no hands on the wheel. It just goes nice and straight. Give her a little bit of gas. Try to go over some of these bumps for you and show you. That's just it's a nice solid classic little SUV to be driving. It's fun to drive, really easy to see out of. These windows are really big on this thing. So it makes it, you know, if you're taking down the trail or uh, you got a first time driver, you don't gotta worry about any of those issues. Um, got the wipers working. Oh, we've got the green light, we've got to get going here, but uh, We'll go over all the other switches and stuff like that here in just a little bit. I did see the tack wire underneath the hood. It just looks like it's not hooked up, so it'll probably be an easy fix or uh, might need a rewire or a new connector or something, but you know, that should be the extent of it. They're pretty basic and easy. Now I'm in fourth gear. The clutch is really nice and firm. You know, lifts off when it should. Um, you know, it's not flopping around. You get some old clutches where the clutch pedal's got about two inches of play. You definitely don't have that. But you got your uh, rear wiper. It goes, operates there. Your rear defroster, your normal defroster, and then your blower motor. And the AC light, you know, hooks up. But like I said, it's probably going to need some work on that to get that going. But it's nice and warm. All that stuff, your choke light comes on if you pull the choke out. So we're going to get ready to go here. I think we're going to be able to get on the freeway and do a little bit of freeway speeds. Appreciate you guys sticking around for these uh, these videos. I know they could be tedious and stuff, but trying to give you guys the best, you know, in touch and right along, you know, idea of what these vehicles hand like without actually being here. Um, looks like the turn signals doesn't always want to cancel out, so... Sometimes manually like that, you gotta turn it out. And now I'm in fourth gear, doing 55. Let's see if we'll uh, get off the brake here, and right off the gas and let this guy climb out front. It might be a little bit tough because uh, traffic to get up anything past 65, but it drives nice, brakes were really good. Um, 
it doesn't pull or sh pulsate on the brakes or make any grinding noises. Um, steering's nice and tight. You know, the only complaint I'd probably have is just like I mentioned before, those older tires. Um, I mean, you'll see my handshakes just a little bit. Just it's just an older, you know, tires just kind of get like the, the the rubber gets a little harder. You know, um, no cracks or chips in the window. Oh, it's got that little star there, but just a real small guy. But uh, try to get up to more speeds here, but I don't think traffic's gonna let us. It's gonna be a tough go. Um, but it handles basically the same. I mean, it's no rocket ship. You're not going to be doing 100 miles an hour down the road. But, you know, it sinks along at 70 just fine. So, all right, everybody. This is going to be uh, going to no reserve. Uh, Rust-free survivor.